Hey guys, uh, coming to you today. Uh, I got something kind of serious I want to talk about. I don't know if you guys know who Boogie2988 is, but uh, he's one of my inspirations to start a YouTube channel. I've always found him hysterical. I've been following him for a long time. Well, he he just released this video. Um, I, I don't know when he released it, but recently. A call. It's him reacting to anything is possible video. Uh, basically, it's, it's about a guy who was extremely overweight, uh, to the point, you know, boogies at himself, and basically it's his video of how he turned it all around, how he started and kept with it and lost all this weight, and uh, I I really wanted to comment on there, I really wanted to comment on there, boogies reaction to it was, I mean, it was moving to me, um, you guys probably don't know this, but I actually, I, I wasn't nearly, you know, as big as these guys, but I did get up to about 270 pounds, and that was really hard on me, um, and I, I understand, I understand the addiction to the food, the addiction to constantly wanting to be shoving something in your mouth, and then when you think about it, and you want to change your life and everything, it, it drives you even further into a depression, which, when you're depressed, you just want to eat. You just want to eat even more. I literally would start off, here's a day in my life. I would start off with a 16 ounce or 20 ounce Red Bull. I would go and I'd get a couple sausage, egg and cheese McMuffins from McDonald's. I'd snack all day on different snacks I had hidden in my, my drawers on my desk at work. Uh, mostly, you know, Starburst, Skittles, all this horrible sugary snacks. Lunch, I'd get the triple baconator from Wendy's with a large fry and uh, <laughs> a junior bait or a junior bacon cheeseburger on the side. It's just an insane amount of food. And then I'd come home and every single night I would order the same thing. I'd call up Domino's and I'd get two steak hoagies. Two steak hoagies. They're they're this big. And I would eat that every single night. I'd eat that and then I would go and I'd eat dessert. I'd just continue eating until I fell asleep. I was drinking six cans of Pepsi every night just after I got home from work at like 7 o'clock. It was non-stop. It was just, that's what I did. My life was eating. If I wasn't eating, what was I doing? What did I do with my hands? What did I do with my mouth? Like, it was so routine. It was so driven into my system that that's what I did. And over the, you know, over a span of six, seven years, I just kept putting on weight, kept putting on weight. I... Honestly, now looking back, I consider myself very, very fortunate that I didn't end up 400 pounds. The way I was eating, what I was taking in was insane. I talked to a, uh, you know, a specialist. Um, he's a personal, like, instructor uh, when I was starting to lose the weight. And basically he told me, he did the math and everything, said I was taking in two cups of sugar a day. Even he seemed flabbergasted at the idea that I wasn't extremely overweight to to the point that I would have health problems. Um, so I consider myself very lucky that I did something before I got there and that for whatever reason my body didn't let me get there. Uh, either way, the point of this is, Boogie, I, I know it's hard. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. To sit there and finally give up on all that food uh, you know it took me over a year to lose 60 pounds which I have done and luckily I've been able to keep it off uh, and I'll tell you this there is a light at the end of the tunnel you stick with it it just like the routine of eating you will get into a routine of eating right I gave up soda that was one of the hardest things for me to stop drinking all the soda stop drinking all the pop stop drinking all the the energy drinks I'll admit the energy drinks, that was the biggest struggle, and I'm still going out and getting them occasionally now, and I'm still trying to quit. I'm trying to switch to coffee, but it takes a lot of coffee to make up for a Red Bull. Uh, anyone who <laughs> has an addiction to Red Bull understands what I'm saying. Um, and it's not easy staying away from fast food and all that stuff, you know, but I, I've done it. I don't even... It's so routine. I'm so used to not eating that stuff. I'm so used to not drinking soda that it doesn't even enter my mind anymore. It doesn't even enter my mind. And it's kind of crazy because I think when people are in pain for a long period of time, they don't even realize how much pain they're in anymore. Sometimes they don't even realize they're in pain. And 
that's a big thing I've noticed. Now when I go back and I try to eat a triple baconator or I try to eat a hoagie, I am in pain. I like my body, it's like I just got beat up. I just got hit by a truck. I'm just suffering. My stomach kills me, my back kills me. I can't move. I'm burping and grossness just coming out of me constantly. And it just reminds me of what I was. I didn't even realize how bad I was. I had no clue. I look at pictures of what I looked like before. And I remember thinking to myself, I look in the mirror every day and I go, I'm not that bad yet. I'm not that bad yet. 10 more pounds. You know what? I, I still can pull off that I don't look that big. I just told myself that over and over and over again. And it's so hard. It's so hard. I'm not going to lie. It's It'll be the hardest thing you ever do. But it, it's the most rewarding. I mean, to get your life back. Or to get the life that you never had. It's amazing. I can go out and I can play sports again. I can run up and down a basketball court. Not as well as everybody else yet, but I'm getting there. And I'm still working towards it. I'm not finished. I still have a goal I want to hit. I want to get below 200 pounds. I'm eight pounds away. Point, point is, is your video moved me. It reminded me. It took me back to where I was. It took me back to my mindset that I was in and how I felt and how scared I was. So I want to thank you for that video. I don't know if you're ever going to see this, but I want to thank you for making that video. Uh, it's a good reminder. I'll be honest, as of lately, I've been, I have been exercising. I've been eating good for the most part, eating well, but uh, I haven't been exercising. I haven't been trying as hard. And this was kind of a reminder for me because I think a big thing people forget when they lose weight, a lot of people gain weight back. And the, I think the reason why is they have a goal. They hit that goal and they think it's time to quit. The thing you got to remember is you're not just changing this. You're not just changing your lifestyle of eating and drinking and exercising. You're not just doing that until you hit a goal. This needs to be a change that you make for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life, you're exercising. For the rest of your life, you're eating. Because once you hit your goal, whatever your end goal is, you have to maintain that. Otherwise, you're just going to go right back to what you were before. And that's something I have to try and remind myself of every single day. And it's hard. It's really hard when you have people around you as well that are constantly, you know, eating bad, drinking bad, all this stuff. And they want you to do it too. They want you to do it with them because they want to hang out with you. And they just don't understand what you're really going through. So I wish you the best of luck. I hope you accomplish everything you want to accomplish. Uh, know that your fans, like me, we're out here. We support you all the way. Um, anyone who says anything negative or bad, I mean, they, that's, they got some problems in their own lives that they need to work out, and hopefully they do as well. Uh, but just ignore them because you putting that video out there, you showing that you want to change your life, that takes courage, that takes bravery, and it's something I look up to. So thank you.